Hi guys, how's it going? Today, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. And it's going to be a little bit random, actually, because I didn't expect to be making a video today. But I got a message on my from Microsoft saying that they've actually just updated the beta version of their streaming service. I think it's still called xCloud or something like that. Now, I've tried it on my phone and, you know, it was a little bit underwhelming. It was okay. It's good. It's a good first concept idea, but if you don't have super fast Wi-Fi, it's not going to be very good. I mean, I played a couple of platformers on it, like this one over here, Super Lucky's Tale, and that was absolutely fine. But when it comes to more, I don't know, first-person kind of S games, it's a little bit, nah, you can't do it. it the, the input latency is just too much. and It's just not an enjoyable experience. However... I've been waiting for this update because this allows you to stream games straight onto your PC. Now, you might be thinking, well, why would you do that? If you've got a PC and you can just download games, why would you bother playing them via a streaming service? Well, there's two reasons, actually, and there's two reasons to me. Well, there's one reason for me, and then the other one is for people who, well, I'll just jump into it. If you don't have a GPU, everyone knows in this market at the moment it's really difficult to get a GPU because of the state the world's in at the moment. It's just difficult to get a GPU for numerous amount of reasons, that, which I'm not going to get into. Now, if you've got decent internet and you've got a decent computer that, you know, you just haven't got a GPU yet, you can use a streaming service. And if it's any good, it might be worth playing. Now, the second thing that kind of interests me is that it's actual Xbox games that you can't get. There's some Xbox games that you can't get on the PC, which are available on Game Pass. If that makes sense, I know there's Game Pass on PC, but there's some of them that are exclusive to the console version, which I think you can play through this. And now what I mean by that is, I mean, there's another little thread to that of what I mean in terms of I want to play Halo. And yeah, you can do that on PC natively. I can download it. However, I want to be able to play with a, console, a couple of console players. And if you play Halo at the moment, you know that you can't have crossplay on the campaigns on PC and console. You can play multiplayer together, but you can't play campaigns. So what this is doing, it thinks that you're actually on an Xbox, however you're playing it on your PC. So there's a couple of reasons why I'm interested in this. I don't want to see if it's good enough that you can actually play a, a first-person shooter smoothly enough. So what we're going to do, we're going to jump into Halo here. I did start a session on my phone, funnily enough, not too long ago. And I kind of want to jump into it and see if it's any good. So you can see this is in a web browser right now. Um, I think you can go full screen. So I've heard. we're just going to jump in and see, see what it's like. So it can take some time to load, which is a product of, obviously, it's trying to stream data from a data center in the US somewhere. And there we go, Xbox logo, fantastic. All right, we'll see what it is. I think you can go full screen. If you click up here, enter full screen. There you go, and it's just like you're playing it on PC. The key thing, though, is input latency. So if you've got decent internet, hopefully it won't be too bad. Now, I don't think you'll ever get rid of it entirely, but the difference between having it on Wi-Fi or your data on your phone, for example, is going to be massive, I think. But we'll have to give it a go and see. I mean, I can't see anything right now. It's just a black screen, so that's not exactly helpful. Hello? Um, we'll be right back. All right, we're in, finally. I just had to reset it a couple of times. I think a lot of people are trying to jump on it this time because it kind of froze a little bit and it was saying a message like I was taking longer than usual to get into the queue. But hopefully it works now. So yeah, I've got I've got a couple of people that I want to play the Halo campaign with, but obviously they're still on Xbox and you know, I've migrated recently over to PC. So I want to have all my saves and stuff, which you do technically have on PC, but it'd be nice to play the campaigns through with, with a couple of guys and stuff like that. Which you can't do on PC for some reason. Already in the menus, it seems a lot better than a phone in terms of latency, which obviously um, won't come as a surprise because it's it's a it's a direct Ethernet cable instead of a Wi-Fi, which is going to make a big difference anyway. But the fact is, you have that option now. So we're going to jump into some Halo 2. I think I've got a save up here anyway. I was playing it on my phone not too long ago. Loading times are another thing that you got to think of as well because it is streaming. It just depends on obviously the specs of the the server it's running on or the hardware it's running on, and if it's configured like an Xbox, is it going to be configured like an Xbox? That's a question. Is it going to have the same loading times as an Xbox? It's going to be quicker. What is it? That's why I want to know. They haven't disclosed anything. All right, so we're in. I'm gonna do a little bit. All right, it's a little bit grainy. It's not. It's not perfect in terms of the actual graphical settings. This ain't bad though. It's not it's not great. I mean I would definitely not play multiplayer like this. Let's go classic. Ooh yeah. 
For some reason that feels a bit snappy. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm more used to it. Not bad. I could I could easily play the campaign like this. If it stays like this quality. Now, it's about sustaining that kind of quality though as well. Because obviously if your internet drops or whatever, I wonder how it's going to treat that. Is it just going to kick you out? Is it just going to have loads more latency? Is the graphical settings going to drop? What's going to be? Wow. I just got done. <laughs> and I think, to be honest as well, that you're kind of limited with the input. I tried to play it with mouse and keyboard before and it just wouldn't have it. So I think you are limited to controller through this web browser. But that could change. Could change. I don't know if we've got many Halo fans on my channel, to be honest. Let me know. Let me know if you like Halo. I was a massive fan of it back in the day, obviously. One, two, three, reach. After four, I started going downhill. I still love them. Don't get me wrong. I still think they're great games, but they're definitely not up to scratch, really, are they? But I'm really impressed. I'm really impressed, honestly. It's not as smooth. It's not as, you know, fluid as you might want it to be. There is definitely some drawbacks there. Like I said, and I'll reiterate, it's not... I would definitely not play multiplayer like this. It's almost impossible to. If you're used to zero latency kind of stuff, it's... Nah, you just... You just can't do it. But in terms of just casual FPS games, you can actually play them now. Like before on the phone or any other streaming like device I've used, because I've used a bit of, I think it's NVIDIA streaming service as well. Even that directly linked to my PC just isn't great. I think this is actually better. I prefer it at least. I've got to go down here and we've got to find the, uh, where they planted the bomb. Is this where we come across the invisible guys? Ah, run, go away. Bye, alien scum. Right, I want to try a couple of different games as well, just to see how easy and quick it is to actually switch between games on this and how long it takes to load and stuff. Oh, give me that shotgun, but I want to try this first. Yes, boy. I'm still really impressed with the graphics on the remaster. I still love it. I still love Halo. Halo's a great time, isn't it? Come on. If you're not a fan of Halo, there's something wrong with you. It's just good fun. Ah, see there, like, when you move, there's a little bit of it's not perfect, is it? The graphical settings are a bit dodgy. There's a bit of artifacting going on as you move. But to be honest, it's not bad. It's definitely playable. It's not It's not horrendous. I would happily play through this game like this again. Now, if this is a brand new game that I haven't played before, maybe a couple of questions, possibly, potentially. I wouldn't want to experience it for the first time like this. But it really, it's just, it's light years ahead of where I thought it would actually be. Right. Let's go try and... See if we can jump into a different game and see how long it takes us to do that. Okay. All right. So that's loaded now. Wait until we get to the main menu and we'll try and switch over. So just click escape. Go out of full screen mode. Quick game. Right. So we're back here. I've literally just gotten back. So let's try. Let's try something that, that we can just jump into. Let's try Doom because I, I play Doom anyway. And I've got to save there and we'll see. We'll see if we can jump into it. So it's going to load. I'll, uh, we'll see how long it takes. Leave it in just to see how long it actually takes realistically so you guys can see how long it's actually going to take and see if we have any issues again because if it is a bit of a pain, if it keeps having issues, then maybe it might put you off. That's pretty good. That's pretty quick. It's not too bad. Obviously, it's not as quick as if you're loading it yourself. Let's go back into full screen. Now, this is going to be a real test for the latency because you need pinpoint accuracy in this game. And again, it's probably not the best game to play if you're going to do this. But I don't know. If you're playing something like Red Dead, GTA, something like that, where there is a little bit of action, but it's not hardcore. It's a bit more of an adventure game, I suppose. You know, if you're playing like The Witcher or Skyrim, easy, happy days. I'd play that any day. The graphics aren't too bad. Especially if you're coming from a console background, it's not going to feel too much different in terms of the, the image quality. And I mean, you know, the base Xbox One or the base PlayStation 4, it's going to look fairly similar. I mean, this looks a bit grainy, I've got to admit, if you look at the actual character model. I don't know what, how much credit to give this, though, to be honest, because it's the first time I'm ever really... Okay, right. I can feel it a bit more in this in terms of latency. Well, maybe it's just because the sensitivity is a bit higher. Yeah, you can see my aim there. It's just, yeah, the graphics aren't the best either. But I'm not sure what it's configured to look like. I think maybe it's the original Xbox One that it's kind of based upon, or it just really depends on your internet. Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit smudgy and a bit blurry. But I'm happy with it. Again, I know I'm gonna sound like a stuck record. I wouldn't advise playing an FPS first time round. Like I would not play Doom like this. It's just far too fast paced. Well, if you're just 
wanting to play some games and you don't have any other means to, you know, just want to play for a campaign with your friends or anything like that, then this, perfect. Especially if you're just struggling to get a GPU right now and you just want to see what you can get and see what you can play, then I'm happy. I don't like these guys. I don't think they're very happy at all. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there, I think. I know it's pretty quick, simple, but I just came across it and I felt like I wanted to make a video of it. But what I want to hear now is your opinions on this. Have you tried it? Are you going to try it? Do you think there's any point in it? You let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe as always. And until next time, guys, cheers.